hi guys welcome to my channel today we'll see how to set up jenkins in docker container so for that one first we need to go to the docker hub so if you see here is the docker hub so here we need to search the jenkins image okay if you click see here it is the jenkins by official jenkins okay you can click on this to set up this jenkins into docker container first we need to install docker desktop in your system okay so already i have installed docker desktop in my system i will just open that here is the docker desktop will open know how if you don't know how to install docker desktop just go with the uh, I did one video on this just go through those videos how to set up docker in your uh, windows operating system okay so this is the docker desktop now we'll go to that again docker hub and we'll see how to pull this jenkins image into the docker okay so if you come here if you see here they mentioned to use this latest lts use this docker pull okay so also you can go with the uh, official documentation as well if you see read more documentation for the usage so this is the official documentation for the jenkins so coming to the below so if you see so here they mentioned docker run and here there is a docker pull so first instead of doing docker pull if you are doing the docker run it will perform two more two operations so first it will pull the image and it will uh, start running that image in the docker container okay so if you observe this command docker run this is the low host they mentioned 8080 and uh, this 50000 is for agent purpose and they mentioned the image name which image you want to pull okay and if you see the below command there is a slight difference so this one they are added extra so why this is if you want to mount that uh, data related to that uh, jenkins for example so if you are running this jenkins service in the docker image if you stop the service that like that if you stop stop this docker so that and all the data will gone right so for that purpose we can if you want to mount if you want to see that data also after stopping the service as well you can mount that one into any kind of drive okay so now we'll go with uh, this one and uh, we'll mount this data into our uh, local means our lo uh, our uh, local system drive will mount so for that one you can create one folder in the any one of the folder so here i am creating one folder so i am giving like jenkins underscore home so here is the folder so so i want to mount the data into this location okay okay so first you can copy this command and open the cmd and i can search for the docker docker is already installed but just you can check docker ps so if you see so here uh, nothing is running as of now it is empty okay just you can copy the command so here docker run it will run from 8080 and 50000 and we are mentioning the uh, mounted path so we need to change this mounted path actually so what is the in our system i have created like jenkins underscore in the w drive okay so we'll quickly change this one i change this and also port number also i need to change because already in my system so already when uh, jenkins service is running at uh, port 8080 so i am changing this port number now if you see this a given port number is 9090 okay so click this one so if you see it is unable to find in the locally so it is pulling from the git in that uh, hub docker hub so once it is pulled and it will start executing also we'll see all these things so if you want to do this one first you need to know few commands related to the docker at least like uh, docker ps and how to run the docker and how to see the logs 
okay those comments at least if you are aware then it is very helpful and also i'll give the i'll give you this uh, simple comments in the description you can just go through in the description as well okay okay so let's wait still it is loading it will take some time so it is depend upon the internet network also If you see, so what it is showing, Jenkins installation setup is required. So here it is generating one key. So if you see inside, this is the initial admin password. When I, whenever you want to open this Jenkins services in localhost 8080, it will ask for one password, right? So that is the initial password it is giving here. So if you want that password to see, we need to go in this path. Okay, so it is Jenkins soap secret initial admin password. So anyway, we are mounted into our local right. So we can go. This is the D W drive and here is the our uh, Jenkins files everything. Okay, if you want to see that one come to the secret and this is the initial admin password. Okay, if it's open into the notepad, you can able to see this is the same password what it is giving here. Okay. Okay, still it is taking time. Okay, we'll try to launch that path so now we are using localhost 9090 okay still not at completed it will take a few more minutes Now it is done. So if you see, we are running localhost 9090. This is from the container. If you coming to the desktop also, so here is the container. So this is the container 5050,000 as well as show all ports 9090. Okay, this is another port running into that uh, Docker. Okay, so it is asking for initial admin password. So we can copy this initial admin password from here. Else, if you want, you can copy from here also. Okay. So you can copy and you can paste and click on the continue. So already you are no. So it will ask for that uh, install plugin. So I'm selecting initial suggested plugins itself. Again, it will take a uh, few more minutes to download all these libraries. Means plugins, it will download required plugins. So I have selected the default uh, plugins only. So where all these uh, plugins will download, if you want, you can go to this uh, Jenkins underscore home and here there is a folder like plugins. So here it will download all the plugins. Once you created any jobs, all the jobs will come here. Currently this jobs folder is empty. It will come. Okay. So why it is coming here? We are mounted in our uh, local system. That is the reason it is coming. Okay. So for that one, this is the command we need to use to mount in your local iPhone V. This is mandatory if you want to mount in your local system. Okay, so I think still it is taking time. Maybe it will take two more minutes. So now it is going to complete. So it is depend upon internet connectivity and internet speed it will take time okay so if you see the comment from so all the plugins is downloading okay so if you want to see the docker process which docker is running or not so if you see the docker ps comment see so this is the docker id this is the jenkins jdk 17 it is using and here it is running uh, port number 1990 okay now it is done 
now we need to give the initial details username and what is the password and confirm the password and the full name and some email id it is asking okay once you filled you can click on this uh, save and continue so if you see local house 7 finish so now jenkins is ready you can start using the jenkins see now jenkins is 1990 is running okay create that uh, freestyle project from here so i'm giving project name is text and selected freestyle project and if you see this configuration so this configuration is vary from uh, project to project now i am selected freestyle projects so it was showing these many configurations but if you are selecting maven or uh, pipeline projects so there may be some vary on these options okay so i am given this is test project and i am not giving any github path anything just i am using the simple uh, command to run here so i am selecting the sh shell command echo test project build success so i have created only one simple project test project okay so this is the way you need to create the jenkins freestyle project and this jenkins is running inside docker container okay so you need to set up jenkins like this okay we'll try to run this uh, job once we'll click on the build now and see here build is success because here nothing is there just i am printing uh, test project build is success so this is the simple way okay so you can try from yourself you can try to download the uh, so what are the steps you need to follow first you need to download the docker desktop after that we need to pull the uh, image from the docker hub if you come to the docker hub you can search for jenkin image and select the official image and below if you want you can go to the read documentation when you click it will open the official uh, documentation from the jenkin and here there are the, some comments you can just uh, follow all these things it is very helpful for you okay